Hey, it's Rumbot here. Welcome back to the basic enemy AI series for Unreal Engine. In the last part, we set up our enemy AI blueprint and added sight sense so our AI can actually detect the player. Today we're going to get our AI moving around the map by setting up the nav mesh, creating patrol paths, and getting everything ready for real enemy movement. Let's jump in. Alright, so let's get our AI ready to move around the level. Before anything else, we need a nav mesh boundary. This isn't just unreal. Almost every engine needs a navigation mesh for AI to figure out where they can walk. If you don't set this up, your AI will just stand there doing nothing. First, head to the top left and hit that little green plus icon. Quickly add to the project, type in nav mesh. You'll see nav mesh bounds volume. Just drag that right into your level. Now, whenever I drop a new actor in, I always reset the location and rotation to zero. Just keeps things organized. So with your nav mesh bounds volume selected over on the right, set location X, Y, and Z to zero. Do the same for rotation. Now let's set the size of our nav mesh. With the nav mesh bounds volume selected, scroll down in the details panel to brush settings. For my map, I'm setting X to 7,000, Y to 8,000, and Z to 1,200. You can use different numbers if your map is bigger or smaller. Just make sure the box covers all the areas where you want your AI to walk. By default, you won't see anything special in your viewport yet. To actually see the navigation area, click in your viewport and hit P on your keyboard. Now you'll see the green overlay. Anywhere that's green is where your AI can move. If you still don't see any green after pressing P, double check your nav mesh's size and location and make sure it's covering your level. And one extra tip, if your map is really large, split it up and use a few smaller nav mesh volumes instead of one massive one. That'll help keep things running smoothly. Alright, now let's set up the patrol points. Back to quickly add, but this time search for target point. Drag one out into your level. Here's the trick I use. With the target point selected, just hold Alt and drag it to make a copy. Move each one somewhere else on your map. Don't just leave them bunched up, actually space them out like real patrol spots. Let's go ahead and create four target points in total, each placed in a different location for our patrol path. So that's four target points. Move each one to a different area you want patrolled. Now click on your first target point. Look over on the right in the details panel and type tag into the search box to find it quickly. You'll see a section just called tags. It's under the actor category. Click the plus button to add a new tag. Type in path one, all lowercase, no spaces. Once you've tagged the first target point as path one, you can quickly tag the rest. Just select your second target point, then hold shift and click the last one so all the remaining points are selected together. Now, in the details panel, add the tag path one and it'll apply to all of them at once, much faster than doing it one by one. Quick tip, double check your spelling. If there's even one typo here, the AI logic later won't work. All right, next, let's make a second path. Pick any one of your target points, hold Alt and drag to duplicate it, then move it somewhere else, far enough that it feels like a different patrol route. Now in the details panel for this new point, change the tag to path two. Then just keep duplicating until you've got four target points with the tag path two, each one in a spot that makes sense for a patrol path. So, at the end you should have 8 target points total, 4 tagged path 1, 4 tagged path 2, all actually moved into good spots in your level, not just stacked up. Zoom out and double check, do you see 2 clear patrol paths with points nicely spread around? Good. Take a second here, if you need to, rename the tags or adjust the point locations now before we jump to blueprints. Once you're happy with your setup, save your level. Now let's get into the blueprint logic and actually make the AI use these patrol points. Okay, let's get into the blueprint part and make this AI actually walk around the map. So, head over to your BP enemy guard blueprint. We're gonna keep this super simple, no fancy logic, just something that works for now and is easy to follow. The first thing I do is find the event begin play node. That's what runs as soon as the AI spawns in the level. From begin play, just drag out a wire and type get all actors with tag. This node is basically gonna grab all those target points we placed earlier as long as they have the right tag. Now you'll see this tag input on the node, right click on it and hit promote to variable. This creates a new variable called tag. 
Go over to your variable list on the left, click on tag, and in the details panel on the right, make sure instance editable is checked. What this does is let you set the tag for each AI instance in your level. So one AI can patrol path one, and another can patrol path two. Don't forget to hit compile and save your blueprint here. After you compile, you'll see you can also set a default value for tag. Let's just put path one as default. So if you forget to change it later, it won't break anything. Now back to the graph from the out actors pin on get all actors with tag, drag out and search for random array item. This node is just going to grab a random patrol point from whatever group it finds. It keeps things a little less predictable. From there, right click and search for AI move to. This node tells the AI to walk to a spot. For the target actor, connect it to the random array item we just picked. For pawn, drag out and type self and grab get a reference to self. That just tells the AI to move itself basically. Okay, once the AI gets to its patrol point, we don't want it to immediately pick a new one. So from the on success pin of AI move to, drag out and add a delay node. Two seconds is a good pause, but you can mess with this to make your AI wait longer or shorter at each point. After delay, just loop it all the way back around to get all actors with tag. That creates a simple patrol loop. AI picks a random point, moves there, waits, and then picks another forever. This blueprint isn't the prettiest or most professional out there, but for basic patrol it gets the job done and is super easy to expand later if you want to make your AI smarter. Now let's test it with multiple AI. Go back to your map, select your BP enemy guard in the world, hold alt and drag to make a copy. Place a couple of these in your map, spread them out. Now click on each one and in the details panel you'll see that tag variable exposed. For one AI set it to path one, for the other set it to path two, that's all you need to assign them different patrol paths. Now hit play, you'll see your AI starting to move around the map. But if you built your AI from scratch instead of duplicating the default character, you might see that it's sliding instead of running. The run animation isn't kicking in. That's actually a common gotcha in Unreal. Here's how to fix it. Go back into BP Enemy Guard and on the left, click the root node self. In the details panel, search for acceleration. Under nav movement properties, you'll see use acceleration for pets. Turn that on. What this does is make sure the character movement component actually uses acceleration and triggers the right animation transitions when the AI moves. Save, compile, go back to your map and play again. Now the AI should run around properly with the right animations. So that's it. You've got AI patrolling using tags for different paths and moving around your level with proper animations. Next we'll get into more advanced stuff like chasing the player or reacting to sound. But for now you have a nice solid foundation for enemy patrols. If you found this helpful, drop a like, subscribe or leave a comment with your questions. It really helps and I love seeing what you're building.